video addresses some of the challenges that many of us may experience at work, especially in the later part of the day when the shoulders, the back of the neck and head start to feel stiffer. And oftentimes many of us will start feeling even tingling down the arms, fatiguing the forearms, the wrists and the hands. And what I would like you to invite is to take some time to do these four simple techniques to start helping yourself right now so you don't have to wait till the end of the week. Thanks come out to uh, my lovely student Bonnie who um, I was working with on trying to find out what are sort of shortcuts that she can do at work. She's really, really busy throughout her day. She even needs to take lunch at her desk. So my heart goes out to all of you who have these really busy jobs, but at the same time, I'm glad for you that there's something that you're passionate for that's also giving you a daily purpose, something to get you out of bed and get you going. And let those things that you do for the world not also leave you stiff and miserable. Mm. There's ways to take care of yourself that can be very, very helpful. It's not hard to do. You just have to learn how to do it. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is a little bit of an opening, sort of a self-massage of the trap muscle. You're going to contact this part of your hand, the ball and heel of your hand, with skin, the skin part here on your trap, the more meaty part, not so much the back as right at the top. You're going to slide your hand there and you're going to let almost like the skin just drag forward and down. So the weight of your shoulder is dragging the skin forward and down. You're going to hold on to the wrist on that same side hand and just let your shoulder girdle be weighted down by gravity. And that's the force that's pulling down on the trap, on the skin on top of the trap, and bringing in some softening to the trap. So just kind of hanging out there. And really letting your hands sink into the trap. Relaxing your shoulders. While you're at it, make sure that your head is not forward, but rather it's over the shoulders and that the back of the neck is long. Sort of a really nice little check in there, making sure the back of the neck is long. And taking a few breaths laterally, breathing into the sides of the rib cage. And four or five breaths. And I'm also taking some time to hear the birds outside. I'm hearing a little bit of traffic, but I'm also hearing some birds and it's really nice. And now relaxing the arms at your sides and checking in that shoulder that you just touched and worked with. Is that shoulder a little bit more open maybe? A little bit more free? A little bit lighter? And the other side and we're going to slide in and do that on the other side so contacting with the palm of the hand full palm of the hand both the ball and the heel of the hand dragging the skin kind of forward and down kind of like water falling over the shoulder but also down towards the floor and just weighing that down using gravity as a friend so you don't have to effort. You don't have to work hard to do that. So just feeling that and breathing, right? Laterally, picturing yourself breathing into the sides of your rib cage, inhaling as if you want to inhale into your belt is if you want to inhale into your bra. Taking that breath lower and wider from where it normally wants to go. So you're just breathing. 
breathe in here. And you can do this for as long as you like, but at least two or three minutes would be really nice. So now that you've done this, kind of relaxing your arms at your sides and feeling how both shoulders have kind of dropped, maybe that's all you have time for today. Or maybe you have a little bit more time. So take one arm behind you. So you're going to take the arm behind you like so. And depending on the level of mobility that you have, your arm may kind of look like this, and maybe a little holy space here, or your arm may go all the way back. And that's fine. We are all where we are with our mobility. But just letting that be there. And I have my right arm behind me right now. I'm going to turn my head to the left and drop my chin towards my clavicle. And you're going to feel some opening between the base of the neck and the top of the shoulder blade. And just breathing and checking that out. You don't want to crank your head down. You don't want to create a lot of pressure tension going down. So you might want to let down up your chin instead of down too much, right? You don't want to be pulling like you're trying to pull a rope or pry a door open. You want to be in a place where you feel some stretch, but you don't want to be efforting into it. You should be able to relax and breathe. If you're squinting, if you're making faces, if you can't wait for this to be over, you're doing too much effort. And coming up. And we're going to do the other side. Turning your head and chin towards clavicle. And maybe, just like me, you're hearing some gardeners outside, noticing some of the sounds, whether more or less pleasant to you in the present moment. The present sounds, some of which are not very pleasant. And just really allowing that to open up here between your shoulder blade and the base of the head. And maybe hanging out for 30 seconds, maybe less, maybe more. Just really staying within your sensations of pleasure and play. This shouldn't feel like work. You know, there's enough work in life. Self-care shouldn't feel like work and coming out of it. And the next thing we're going to do is you're going to take your arms out to the side, you know, kind of coming out of screen here. So I'm just going to show you one arm well. Just imagine the other arm looks just like this one. And you're going to drop your shoulders down and relax them. And make sure that you're not sticking up your chest. Many of us keep the chest high to pretend we have good posture. So just letting the chest relax. Shoulders are down. And you're going to roll your arms back. You're going to roll them back as if you want to pour something behind you and you're going to reach the elbows away from you. So it's sort of like the sense of a lengthening and opening. And you're going to lift your arms up and then bring them down. So sort of exploring some of the range of motion here. You can also do some circles back and forward. Just creating some balance around the shoulder joint and the muscles running between the skull and the shoulder girdle. Um, we think of our neck muscles as sort of just being in the neck, but where your shirt ends, your neck muscles don't end, right? They keep going to the shoulder girdle. So just really moving the arms around to open some of that up. And you can also straighten your arms out to the side as if you wanna stop traffic, pulling the fingers towards you, dropping the shoulders down. And you can explore some neck movements. They can be more, um, sort of straightforward, like left and right, or you can turn your head and sort of do small circles. And just moving the head and the neck. Yeah, and just really enjoying that. At any angle that is pleasurable to you. Some of my students like to say that it hurts good to do this stuff. So just keeping it pleasurable, even if it's a little bit uncomfortable, you don't want it to feel like you're forcing yourself to do it. And coming down. And you can do any of these any time throughout the day. Great to take um, little breaks at work. You know, so many of us just 
get stuck in one position and you want to get out of that stuckness you want to have some variability you want to have some flow to you and this is a great place to start reconnecting with yourself and your sense of calm in your body and not being overloaded so thanks go out to Bonnie for the inspiration and for making this video for work. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you share it with friends and colleagues and um, stay in touch over at movewellstudio.com. Thanks.